Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I want to share with you my recipe for chocolate peanut butter balls. Now listen, I know that these are usually made around the holidays but I'm not bound to a holiday to make a treat, a sweet treat. I am obsessed with these. This recipe actually was influenced by one of Joe's family members and she actually makes these around Easter and Mother's Day and Father's Day like pretty much all year long. And since Father's Day and Mother's Day are kind of coming up, I thought this would be a really great treat to package up in a nice little box and give to your loved one for a nice little treat or a present or whatnot. They are so easy to make. They should really be called chocolate peanut butter crispy balls, but whatever, you say potato, I say potato, it's the same thing. You're going to start off with some confectioner sugar. You're also going to need some rice cereal, any kind that you like, some creamy peanut butter, a little bit of unsalted butter, and you're going to need a little bit of vanilla extract. And you're also going to need just a couple more ingredients to make the chocolate coating, but that's going to come in a little bit. So for now, it is so easy and simple, just you wait and see. I've got a small saucepan, and to my saucepan, I'm going to add my unsalted butter. And I'm just going to melt this over about medium heat, and then we'll add our next ingredient. Okay, this is about where I want it. I'm going to add the vanilla, and now I'm going to just turn that off, and I'm going to add my peanut butter. I sprayed my little bowl with some nonstick spray so that it kind of pops out really easily. And now I'm just going to take my time and mix in the peanut butter and the butter until everything is nice and creamy and smooth. You might have to turn this back on medium heat in order for it to melt a little bit quicker, but just take your time and be patient. I should have used a much bigger scale, you know, much bigger saucepan, but what can I say? Can't think right sometimes. Okay, how fabulous is that looking? I like to take a bath in there, so if any of you want to go and buy a few, uh, I don't know, thousand things of peanut butter and butter and fill up a bathtub for me, I'd appreciate it. Okay, so this is done, and now it's just a question of putting everything together. It's really easy. You've got your rice cereal, your confectioner's sugar, and I'm going to pour this lusciousness all over the top. Now I do want to say one thing. You can adjust the amount of confectioner sugar that is in this recipe. You can adjust it to however much you like. Now some people like to put like a pound of sugar in here. Mm. I, on the other hand, like a modest amount, not too much, but yet not too little. I think this is a perfect amount, but if you make this recipe and you give it a taste along the way and you just find that it needs a little more sugar, then by all means, just add a little bit more sugar. Now, what you need to do, because you'll think to yourself, it's never going to come together. It's never going to hold, but it will. What you need to do is just be patient and mix this with your spatula until every piece of every little bit of powdered sugar is no longer visible. You want it to be really incorporated. You want that rice crispy, you know, that rice cereal and the powdered sugar to be well coated in that buttery mixture. So just take your time and give it a good mix. Get that upper body workout that you forgot to do this morning. Get it done now. This is what you are looking for. Okay, so now what I have here is I just filled my bowl with a little bit of water and I also have a baking sheet with some parchment paper that I've sprayed with nonstick spray. And I've got my little handy dandy little ice cream scoop that's about a teaspoon size. And what you're gonna do is you're going to just form them for now and then we'll give these all a roll once you have formed them. Because you could do this just with your hands but I always find that um, they kind of vary in size. So form them and then we'll roll them and um, we'll get them chilling. Once you have them all sort of form, you know, you got all your, your batter in the same size, you want to just take your hands, damp them with a little bit of water, otherwise it's going to just stick to your hands, and give them a nice little roll. They don't have to be perfect. I mean, mine certainly aren't perfect. Some are bigger than others, but who cares? That is the beauty of anything that's homemade, you know? It's got that rustic sort of charm to it. Now, once I have rolled each one, I'm gonna pop this into the fridge. These need to set for a good couple of hours. You can even do this the night before. Makes life really easy. If you've got a bunch of people um, that you're making these for, you can double or triple the recipe. It's completely up to you. Um, they're really fantastic if you're doing like a baby shower or a bridal shower or just anything like that where you need to you know, give out a favor. 
I always love giving out food. Um, so this is a great one to make because everyone loves them and they're just so easy. So I'm just going to form them, let them chill, and then we will coat them. Okie dokie, these have had a couple of hours in the fridge and they are set and they are perfect and ready to go. So you're going to need to make, you see how I went just from like one thing to another and because I'm so excited, it's not even funny. You're going to need to make a chocolate coating to coat these in. What I've got here are some semi-sweet chocolate chips and some vegetable shortening. It's kind of important that you have your vegetable shortening. It's going to give you the right consistency, the right shine, and it makes it so that the chocolate won't crack. You can melt this over a double boiler or you can do what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop it in the microwave on the melted chocolate setting and let it melt for about 60 seconds, giving it a stir every 15 seconds or so to make sure it's getting melted evenly. So I'm going to pop this in and then we'll go get, we'll get to coating. Mm. Okay, this looks perfect. And now you just take your little peanut butter balls. You can do this with two forks if you want to, or you can do it with your fingers, however your heart desires. And you just dip them in there like us. Oh, that's in my sal voice, by the way. And you pop them right back on to your baking sheet. Now I'm just going to continue to do these as quickly as I can. And then I'm going to let them set, and then we'll be ready to enjoy them. I pop these in the fridge only for about 15 minutes so that they set. And don't worry if they don't look all perfect, because look, when you pick them up and you just sort of clean around the edges, you're good to go. Listen, this ain't no Lara in a chocolate factory. This is Lara in the kitchen, so my food will look like it's been made in this kitchen. <laughs> no factory here, but it's really easy and really simple. See, like that. And then this can be the cook's treat. And then they look like beautiful little truffles of love. So creamy, peanut buttery, crunchy, perfect. Mm, mm. That is, uh, I don't even, you have to make these. They're not like, some, some of these, if you have them made really bad, they're so hard. That's, I don't like that. I like them to be really nice and creamy and the crunch coming from the, you know, the rice cereal. That is the peanut butter ball I like. And if you are in the same boat as I am about texture and flavor and the right amount of sweetness, this is a recipe for you. Go to LaraInTheKitchen.com. The recipe will be waiting for you. Make a batch of these this weekend for your friends and family. Take a picture, share with me on social media, tweet me so I can retweet, 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 and tell you how much I love you. All the links will be down below. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.